night boys, gonna start off my day with a little bit of CM Chasm. Tried doing some last night, but the server got a little laggy and I didn't really feel like waiting for a server reset. So instead I made like 1100 steel play bodies on time last night, and then today, when need be, I can turn those into titan pouches, make some more scrolls as well, because we're running a little low. And uh, yeah, that should be all fine and dandy. At the moment I'm the only one who can even make steel titan pouches, because they don't have 99 summoning yet. That's no problem, low effort, you can make a preset for it, it's pretty chill. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get some drops today. We have actually decided what we are going to be doing group environment wise for these scores. I basically asked if it was fine if Flubber, Goba and Ty all got one more core each. I have gained either five or six a day. Maybe Ty has had one or two, I'm not sure. And I've had five or six, it depends. If I've had five, then he has had uh, two of them. If I've had six, he has had one of them. I just don't remember and a lot of the broadcasts don't show up because on release the core just didn't announce when you got it, right? I can't even properly track it, but I know we've had a total of seven. Point in case, <clears throat> they are all going to get one core each and I can just start selling them off immediately. Yet also not really immediately. <laughs> uh, we'll keep the cores we get first, but like if I get the first few cores right now instead of them, then they will give me a core to sell when they do get one, basically. So yeah, I hope that kind of makes sense. Uh, that way everyone contributes a little to the boots and glove stack. Just a little, uh, little more you know, spread out, balanced, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hope for some cores soon though. I would love to make some, like, big money here, but you never know. It's a lot of RNG. Well, sadly ran out of Steel Titan scrolls, so we are stuck making a few. Alright then guys, last night I typed in the chat that I would explain my reasoning for picking the double drop rate bug out of the prestige shop instead of the raid bug. Personally I think the raid bug is kind of better in the sense that if you raid a lot it's definitely worth having, there is no discussion about it. Is it huge? No, but it's a nice little bonus and ticking down that, uh, that 10 until you're guaranteed with one extra, like <laughs> getting two rolls in one raid, it, it's huge, it's very nice. The problem is, when the fuck are we gonna raid? <laughs> Realistically speaking right now, our group Iron Man is so occupied with different like goals and things we want to achieve, items we want to have, and raids is just like way on the back line. Our main focus is chasm for money to max, um, nightmare of a like terror so we can uh, get imbue stones to make crystals for the encrestral, same with the crest, saving those up for that as well as trying to get more executioner orbs, just trying to make some money from that, all of that stuff. And then on top of that, we want to do next, the, the spotlight is coming soon, it's currently the event, we lost other crest items, uh, there's just so much we want to do, and like, we do want to raid eventually as well, but by that time, the thing is like, double drop rate affects everything, right? It, it just straight up affects everything except the current event and next, I believe. I think that those are the only two things right now that drop rate doesn't work on. So by the time I finally step into raids again, this bug that I bought last night, that 2.5% specifically, not like the total 22.5% I have, but just that 2.5% is probably gonna proc like a hundred times before I finally do my first raid again. Uh, honestly, represtiging is a lot more appealing to me now that, you know, realizing how much money Chasm Quaker is, how we can literally get there by just grinding money and buying lamps. It made it a lot more realistic for me to aim for, so this is gonna be a little side goal. Today is a New, Year, New Year's Eve, it's gonna be, uh, you know, 2023 t tonight. Uh, so I won't be on for too much today, got some shit planned. Wish you all, uh, how do you say that? Happy New Year? <laughs> I was gonna say Merry New Year or some shit, I'm still in the Christmas spirit a little. Uh, Happy New Year in advance, but by the time you guys hear this, it will probably be like fucking February already, because my videos are quite behind, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm sorry for that if you guys don't like that, but we like to be ahead a little bit on schedule. That way, uh, you know, I don't run out of stuff to upload if things go wrong, if my editor gets sick, whatever you can think of. If I don't get clips for a little while, I still have stuff to upload. But I will admit they are a little too far behind at the moment. I've been 
trying to bulk upload a bit more so we can catch up a little. Honestly speaking, my goal in terms of like being behind, well, I guess my Titan, is like two weeks max and currently it's like a month, so that's just too much, but I'll try my best to catch up a little, guys. Anyway, long ranty clip, but there you have it. Chasm hasn't been too kind to me, I've seen no one in 100 drops, no pets, no alloys, 89 shards, but no 25 shard drops. And uh, the core is still looking the same since we got our last one. It's uh, been a little while again, but that's fine. We'll uh, continue grinding on until we get what we need. All right, Happy New Year to each and every one of y'all. Officially this time, it's currently the 1st of January. Currently about to be 7 p.m. I've had obviously quite a busy night as most people do. Got out of bed late and did some other stuff today. We just got online for the first time. I think that's fine. You know, sometimes you just gotta chill a bit. I think I'm gonna do a little CM Chasm Quaker again. Wow, Raymond, that's all you do. Shocking. Ironically, you guys haven't even seen that much of it because uh, I ain't getting shit lately. But until the 3rd of January, we have a little world boost. Boss points, raid chest, drop rate bonus, and superior boss chance, especially looking at this bad boy over here again. 50% drop rate bonus and double boss points is gonna be nice for the divine shots and stuff. So I'm gonna try and get a little uh, core drops perhaps, question mark. Let's uh, try our best to do that. And uh, yeah, just kinda chill at CM Chasm for a bit, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. And I'll see you guys if we get some loot. Oh, let's fucking go, we got another core. Let's freaking go. Yes, oh, it's been a little while, man. Jesus, I mean, running out of uh, Chaos Lux here. 86 remaining right now. Had a, had like close to 300 at the start. Very nice. That's, <laughs> we've had a lot of cores already, to be fair. But our KC is adding up uh, quite nicely as well. So I'm kind of happy to see that. Now, Goba, Tai, and Flubber are all going to get one more core each that we require for the group Iron Man. Uh, whereas I'm gonna sell my cores off, but because I'm getting them first, I'm just gonna save mine to help the group Iron Man so we have them. And then they can just pay me their cores when they finally get it and then we'll drop, they, drop trade those and sell those off. That's probably the plan. 1387 CM Chasm kills already. But I've seen a few cores, so I think I'm a little on the lucky side. That's probably like my 7th or 8th one. Oh my, we just got a doubled Terra Metal Alloy. Kinda threw me off with the yellow beam. <laughs> Thought I got a doubled core for a second, but no, no, no. Just a little doubled Alloy, nothing too crazy there. Got a lot of those anyway, not even worth selling to be honest. Haha, <laughs> okay, another doubled Alloy. Uh, I haven't seen a 25 shard drop in a while. And my last two Alloys have both doubled, that's a little... A little unlucky, I guess, but that's cool to see. I just noticed some Terra Metal shards recently have been selling for up to 400 mil each. It's not too many of them, but it definitely shows me that there is some interest for it or someone is buying them desperate, desperately enough to pay 400 mil each for them. So I'm just gonna go ahead before I start another hour, uh, drop trade my Terra Metal shards so I can start selling some of those. And I'll do a few alloys as well, because I saw they were actually a few bill at the moment. TP is so buggy here, weird. Doesn't always walk towards it. Yeah, four bill each, and that's the only one in there. Any more alloys beans? Yeah, four bill, damn, okay. That's another 16 bill in alloys right there. Yeah, fuck it, we'll sell those too. Not gonna lie, these things look uh, kind of satisfying on the floor. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. Look at that, right? Seven alloys, uh, 120 shots, and it's already adding up to 76 bill. It's so freaking good. Sure, it's not like too early game, you don't really get access to Chasm that early, and then also needing the uh, the other thing, the uh, Wanderer Scroll to get the challenge mode thing. And then you need good gear to kill it efficiently, obviously, but yeah, this is really, really nice. Enough for at least two bombs and a Chunky amount on the side on top of that, if it all sells, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing Chasm. This is probably the way for me. Every $100 bond is equivalent to 20 lamps. If I'm not mistaken, every lamp is 368,000 XP. One or the other, or it's 86. I can never remember for some reason. Uh, so 20 la lamps is about, let's say, 7 mil XP. 7.3 ish. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that's just the way to go, at least for some skills. 
There are definitely a few skills I can train myself that I've heard aren't too bad even on a road like construction, but we'll see when we get there. Can't deny that. Anything? Oh! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, a huge casket very early on in the stream. That's a little bit unlucky. Technically, I think it's separate table, but at the same time, it's, they are both 1 in 500. So you still, like, lose out on a coin flip there, if you ask me. Incredibly rapid speed while barely leaving the game. Oh my god, we just got another core. Wow, on the rent. I see, that is... <laughs> that does put a smile on my face. Fuck yeah. Let's go, boys. Damn, third one in, like, three days, two days. God damn it. Oh, that is an uh, exuberant course for the entire group I'm in completed. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. <laughs> like, we... Okay, for example, execution items aren't even a Wanderer item right now. So they aren't being synced at all, but they are coming into the game at quite a rapid speed, as you can see right here. See, and even if they are added to the execution, it's just not fast enough. We need something that is constantly syncing out the game. If you've ever played Spawn PK, you know about the Blood Core pool. You know like the best possible example of what we could have. That would make a big improvement. I'm not saying to copy paste it, the same rewards, yada yada. But I'm saying something of that level where the end game items are being synced. Something that could literally take your Sang Scythe for a massive reward. Where you would consider doing that over drop trading it for money. That kind of stuff. That is kind of what I would love to see. Probably not a Sang Scythe, maybe that's a little over the top, but... Terror Orbs, Executioner items, Inquisitor items as well, Scythes, Affliction items in general. Why the fuck not? Why not make it a possibility at the very least? Maybe some people will do it. Any sync is a good sync. T-Bows, Chambers of Xeric items, etc, etc. Thanks for the gratis, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, a uh, any Halo is kind of fucked? Yeah, it's, yeah I, I see what you mean, because you have to wait for it. It's a bit of an RNG. Maybe it won't even show up all week. I'm not gonna lie, they need higher tier room coin type of currency that is used constantly like that stone from Small PK. I agree. I'll share you guys my idea for it. My, my personal sinking idea that I think would fit Runex really well. Um, currently, we have the Rune Diamond store in Runex as it is. In order to get rune diamonds, you have to uh, pay rune coins combined with mystery shards in order to obtain them. And I think that's fine. My idea would be to add a secondary rune coin value to certain items. Not everything, but mainly focused on like the more expensive items or things that are just really, really rare to obtain. And then that second rune coin value cannot be used to exchange for rune coins, but only in order to get rune diamonds. So basically you would put items into a little screen, very similar to the rune coin machine, and then it would put a certain price tag on it. Let's say 300,000 rune coins, bada bing bada boom, you put a bunch of scythes in or some shit, right? And then it will also ask you to put in mystery shards equivalent to the amount of rune coin value. So it's not like it's skipping that either. Uh, you still have to pay the mystery shots, but it would be like kind of like an extra slot where you have glorious gems right now. But then in order to insert the mystery shots, so, it's asking for 100k room coins, so I'm getting, that's 1000 mystery shards, I believe? 100 per, right? Well, let me know if that's wrong, but let's say 1000 mystery shards, you insert that, and then you exchange it to get room diamonds directly from the items. Uh, obviously, currently, the room diamond store is nice, it has some appeal, but it could definitely use a bit more flashing out if something like that came around. Um, and then maybe on top of that, maybe some more general user for room diamonds outside of the store as well, such as a really good new enchant. Something that has con continu 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 me. It's a rough word. <laughs> I'm also a little high, I'm not gonna lie. Where, where you keep using it, uh, in the long run. You know what, what I mean? Rune Diamond Store is quite meh, mainly cosmetic stuff. I think it should stay that way, but a few useful additions as well. I think the shop should be expanded. Uh, first of all, a few more mini pets would be really cool in my opinion. Spawn Pick has some really great ones. One of their mini pets from, from their Wonder Store, but let's say we get it from the Rune Diamonds. Um, has the effect of our luck token, for example. So if you have the pet out, it has a 5% chance to give you an extra roll when you kill something. 
So a 5% chance for a regular luck toke to go off. That's a sick bet. Maybe not use that direct bet for Runex, but I'm just saying there could be some really cool ideas for mini pets like the fairy that are not directly related to just straight up drop rate bonus and stuff like that. A few, a bit of a variety. Uh, let me give you a different example. How about we have a mini pet pet? <laughs> <laughs> the mini pet pet is kind of like a mini me but for your pet where it copies whatever pet you are following and it uh, amplifies the main pet's effect by like 20% or something. I'm not saying plus 20%, <laughs> just by 20%. So for example, a Borg pet uh, has a 10% damage increase, right, as an effect. So the mini pet would add 2% to that, 20% of 10% damage is 2%, so it would make the Borg deal 12% instead of uh, 10%. Not even a massive upgrade, nothing too crazy over the woo, -woo but still something most people would be like, yeah, okay, that's probably worth getting, right? It's a little bonus. Increases your best in slot, why not? Those kind of things would be really cool to me. All right, what is good, everyone? Last night we did a nice little stream I haven't hopped on ever since ending that. You just watched the highlight of it. We finally got our last remaining core, and I'm heavily considering selling two off right now. Because uh, I don't think we need four at this point in time. And then when Ty and Goba get one, they will fill up the last remaining two that we have. That way I can start start selling them before they drop even more in price. And we'll still have enough for the entire group Iron Man to use. Our main focus is going to be Chasm anyway. And for Chasm you mainly want to use the Gauntlets rather than the uh, for Executioner Gloves. Because you need the Soaking. Um... So yeah, that might be an idea. It was a fun little stream, nothing too crazy though. We only, in like two and a half hours of Chasm Quaker, I saw a whole nine Terra Metal shots, all luck tokens, the shards. We started with 10 at 19 at the end of it. That was tragic as fuck. Wasn't even getting good one to three shard drops, let alone anything. Like nine is nothing, bro. You can get three, double that, and that would have been like two thirds of it in one kill. But no, just wasn't getting any whatsoever. Crazy. But uh, yeah, I'll probably go right back to it. World Boost still seems to be active. I have no idea how long it's gonna last. But while it's here, we'll make the most of it.